Good evening, everyone. Jackie is off tonight. We have a developing story tonight that we've been following since 2019 when a Wheatfield mother ran off with her two young children. Now, Katie Reifert is back in western New York to face charges in Niagara County. News 4's Tara Lynch is live at the Buffalo Airport tonight with more on what comes next. It's a story you're seeing only on 4. Tara? Don, we have waited to hear from Katie Ryford for three years, and tonight we finally have. At about 8.30 or so, her flight got into the airport here from New Mexico. She walked right behind me through this arrival terminal, and we spoke with her on her entire walk to a Niagara County Sheriff's vehicle. She was escorted by two sheriff's deputies in street clothes. So here's what we know so far. She is heading to the county jail tonight, and she awaits arraignment tomorrow. More than 11 hundred days ago she disappeared with her kids she now faces custodial interference charges that is a felony and it holds a maximum sentence of four years in prison she was found and arrested by u.s marshals in new mexico living under a different name even changing her children's last names earlier this month she is also set to appear in family court for failure to obey a warrant but tonight she maintains her innocence and says she is the victim no, I'm going to clear my name with all the evidence I have. I am very strongly believe that. Are you guilty? No, I am not. Why New I am, Mexico? I am a domestic violence victim, and my children are also victims of abuse. And unfortunately, Niagara County failed us. At the press conference on March 3rd, Sheriff Michael Filicetti of Niagara County said that the children would be reunited with their father, who lives in Massachusetts. But Ryford said tonight she wants to have custody of her kids again, claiming their father is the abuser. As for why she went to New Mexico, Ryford said they have plenty of resources for domestic violence victims that Western New York does not have. But she wouldn't get into specifics on what those resources were. The children's father has denied abuse allegations and the sheriff said earlier this month those violent claims were investigated and they found no evidence of abuse. Essentially, when things weren't going her way in the family court, um, she decided to start making allegations when things weren't going her way and then decided just not to appear. That was her solution to the problem. There are no federal charges against Ryford at this time. The sheriff says he is unsure if she will be released due to bear wolf form law, but he says she is a flight risk who should stay behind bars. After speaking with Ryford for just about five minutes or so this evening, her final message to the community, she is a victim and she is innocent. Live at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, Tara Lynch, News 4.